Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How did Kamala Harris respond to questions about her economic plans? In recent interviews, particularly on CBS's Null 60 Minutes, Null Vice President Kamala Harris faced several questions about her economic plans, and her responses provided insights into her strategies and justifications. Harris emphasized the current state of the economy, highlighting historic low unemployment rates and a thriving economy by macroeconomic measures. However, she acknowledged that prices, especially for groceries, remain too high and need to be addressed. To tackle inflation and high grocery prices, Harris proposed a federal ban on price gouging in the food industry. She plans to authorize the Federal Trade Commission, FTC, to impose substantial fines on grocery chains that engage in null excessive null price hikes. This measure is designed to support smaller food businesses and increase competition, which she believes will lead to lower prices for consumers. When questioned about how she would pay for her economic plan, Harris pointed to increasing taxes on the wealthiest individuals and corporations. She argued that it is unfair for teachers, nurses, and firefighters to pay higher tax rates than billionaires and large corporations. She plans to raise the corporate income tax rate to 28% to help offset the costs of her proposals, such as expanded child tax credits, earned income tax credits, and premium subsidies for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act. Harris also discussed her plans for affordable housing and homeownership, including a $25,000 subsidy for first-time homebuyers and an investment of tens of billions of dollars to construct 3 million new housing units over four years. She proposed tax credits for housing developers who build affordable housing units and a $40 billion fund for local housing solutions. Despite being pressed on how she would get her economic policies approved by a potentially Republican-controlled Congress, Harris expressed confidence that many lawmakers understand the needs of their middle-class constituents. She emphasized that her plans are designed to strengthen the economy by investing in small businesses and the middle class. Harris's responses often highlighted the contrast between her economic vision and that of her opponents, particularly former President Donald Trump. She criticized Trump's economic policies as favoring wealthy corporations and billionaires, while positioning her own agenda as focused on supporting working families and combating corporate price gouging. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.